Yes, this is breaking news because uh, recently we've been seeing how Nigerians have been slaughtered on a daily basis and uh, it has uh, become a cause of concern or a cause for concern as uh, even ECOWAS is worried over spread of terrorism and the killings of Nigeria by, by bandits and other uh, forms of crimes going on in Nigeria. But really the breaking news here is that the army chief has really made uh, a statement that exposes the activities of Boko Haram and bandits. Remember that some months ago we had uh, over a thousand Boko Haram members who said that they have repented but guess what? The army chief has come out with the truth. Yes, I'll bring you more details about this. You know, it is no longer news how these guys have been slaughtering people, attacking people here and there. I guess you're also very much abreast with the news of how 23 travelers were killed by bandits in the country in Sokoto state, you know, and there are so many going on in the country that uh, will not be mentioned. But you know how these guys are like we all know in the country today that uh, most of the security outfits have been, you know, uh, taken care of or let's say been handled by uh, the northern end. And that alone is really not making things happen the way Nigerians really expected. Because if northern ends are holding most or all of those security uh, outfit position and they're not giving out what Nigerians expect. I expect the president to have taken actions about all of this. But well, let us find out what uh, the army chief has to say because he has exposed some activities of the so-called uh, claimed Boko Haram, repented Boko Haram members. Well, I'll bring you more details, but please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can get updated anytime we drop a new video all right dear friends without further ado let us get right into the details of this report yes the anti-terror battle of the federal government may suffer a setback it was learned yesterday the army has raised the alarm that many repentant Boko Haram fighters are backsliding and subverting the war against the insurgents and bandits the theater commander of operation Hadin Kai, Major General Christopher Musa, disclosed that repentant sect members who have surrendered to troops have ulterior motive. Also, the federal government has expressed worry over the activities of terrorists, bandits, and other non-state actors using the country's non-commercial radio frequency spectrum without license and payment of appropriate fees. Miffed by the increasing activities of terrorists in the sub-region, the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, said the worsening insecurity could undermine regional integration and stability. It was also learned that the foreign donors are sustaining the Islamic State of West African province, ISWAP. Major General Musa disclosed that 20,000 insurgents have laid, arm, laid down arms in the northeast. The CP commander who spoke on the sidelines of the Chief of Army Staff Conference in Abuja said, the new challenge is what to do with the repentant terrorist. He said, we have over 20,000 combatants and their families surrendered. This tells you there is something we are doing right. What we do with them after surrendering is our next focus. The expectation is that after all surrendered, then everything will fizzle out, but that is not the case. Frankly speaking, for us, this is a good development. A lot of people have been thinking and also expressing fixed uh, and also expressing fixed feelings, mixed feelings, if at all the news is true. Of course, there are some insurgents who truly wish to surrender, but we cannot jettison the fact that some of them do have ulterior motives. Like I said to us, this is good, and if we follow it through in the right way, then we may begin to see the end of this insurgency sooner than we actually think. General Musa explained why the terror group has remained leader after the death of its leader, Abubakar Shekau. 
he said before Shekau died. Day, Boko Haram fighters pledged allegiance to the Islamic State in the West African province, ISWAP, and ISWAP gets its funding from foreign donors. It is the lost for these monies that have further emboldened them. This is why they overran Shekau. These people who are enemies of the nation, who do not want peace in Nigeria, are the same people pushing ISWAP too. It has nothing to do with religion or any form of ideology, but purely driven by the quest for money. The theater commander dismissed the insinuation that the Nigerian military has been outstretched in the course of fighting the insurgents. He said no group can outstretch the armed forces of Nigeria. What people need to understand is we in the military can easily be identified because we put on uniforms. These guys go on mufti and we cannot just go into a community and start killing everybody. We have to do this. Then this fight would have ended since. But what about the collateral damage on the part of innocent civilians? If we, have, if we have to shoot, then we must target the real troublemakers and not just anyone. This is a problem. They mingle among civilians. This is why it has become so difficult. If it is so conventional warfare, we would have finished them a long time ago. The Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy, Mr. Beatrice Baku Nabasu, who spoke in Lagos on the sidelines of a stakeholder this forum tagged sensitization and sustainability sustainable frequency spectrum management development for non-commercial radio frequency users said bandits and terrorist groups using the radio frequency spectrum illegally threaten national security and interfere in the frequency he said we are aware that some organizations are and institutions that are non-commercial users are making use of the radio frequency legally. But what baffles government the most is that terrorist groups also use the radio frequency spectrum legally and they obtain it from online stores. Although the ministry has nothing equipment to monitor these using the radio frequency spectrum illegally, the range of coverage is limited and cannot reach inside the forest and deep territorial waters. However, our monitoring equipment can detect these or those using the radio frequency illegally within the cities. Ghanaian Foreign Affairs Minister and Chairperson of ECOWAS Mediation and Security Council Charlie Ayoko Boshtwe, who spoke at the opening of 47th Ordinary Session in Abuja, lamented the threat by the terrorists. She said, speaking on the backdrop of continual threats to our region, which could undermine integration agenda and regional stability, attacks by terrorists and violent extremist groups are increasing across the region, leaving no member state spared as a potential target. In addition to this already difficult situation, is the military takeover in Guinea after the one in Mali, weakening our community. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the Council, the deteriorating security environment in the region is of grave concern from the Sahel region through the Lake Chad basin and beyond. Attacks from terrorists and violent extremists have moved with banditry, kidnapping, farmer headed dynamics, and trans transnational organized crime, leaving a trail of death and destruction. So obviously you can see it's really a cause of concern, but, uh, you know, uh, a security outfit not agreeing to the fact that these guys really need careful watch before they put them into the army. It's just what I do not agree with. But anyway, guys, I don't know what you have to say about this. Please drop it in the comment section and also give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.